Hello, welcome. Thank you all so much for joining me here. My name is Charity and this message is for Capricorn. So in this reading, we're going to look at the energies and how the person who is on your mind is feeling about you. What they're thinking about you, what they like best about you, what they don't like as much, what they like about the connection, hopes, fears, what's likely to happen, what they're likely to do next, and any advice Spirit has for you. So let's get started. Wow. Okay. Go ahead and take this one. What are they thinking about you? How are they feeling? How are they feeling? What do they like best? What don't they like as much? What don't they like as much? What do they like best about the connection? What do they like best about the connection? What don't they like as much about the connection? What are their highest hopes? And what are their deepest fears? Okay, now I'm gonna get three cards for what is likely to happen, what they're likely to do next, and any advice Spirit has for you. And I'm gonna lay them face down over here and you and I will look at them together at the end. So what is likely to happen? Oh, wow. Goodness. Okay, that's too many. Let's see if we can just get one. That one. Oh, well. <laughs> Sorry, the way these cards are flipping, they're sort of going all over the place. I feel like there's a little bit of a scattered energy here. And this person is um, definitely up in their head about their next move towards you, Capricorn. Okay, spirit advice for Capricorn. Advice for Capricorn. Whoa. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. I feel like this person is really up in their head about things. They're they're feeling kind of out, you know, on their own. They're feeling distant from you, missing you, longing for you in a sense, um, wishing to be like more in your world. They it's like they want to know you better. Sometimes they feel like they're they're thinking of you and seeing you from a from afar and they want to it's like they want to know they want to know what makes you tick they want to know what you like they want to know how you feel like there's a lot of curiosity and yet there's a lot of anxiety so um what they're thinking about you is the moon and it's pisces energy it could be significant but the way this is coming up in the reading there's a lot of energy about this person having a lot of feelings and a lot of things they hold within and a lot of things they hide. What I'd really love to know is why, because we're going to, we're going to get like two more cards because I'm looking at them all out here, but it has to do with somebody feeling like for some reason they need to keep their feelings within like a secret, like they can't, they can't talk about it for some reason. I go ahead and just ask spirit why do we have why do we have this person feeling like they can't speak up this particular person i'm channeling why all the secrecy oh my goodness the nine of cups and the hierophant pisces energy taurus energy so a lot of pisces coming right up here they are wishing for a commitment with you. They are wishing for more. They want one-on-one. -on -one. They want something lasting. I, I feel like this person wants, I mean, for some, like they think about what it would be like to be married to you or be in a serious relationship with you. And they want that. But for some reason, they feel like it's almost like a dream. Like they can't say it. 
Um, but how they're feeling about you is the Seven of Swords in reverse. You know how I said we had, we had secrets. We've got the moon, we've got the high priestess, and we have the Seven of Swords. But what I love about this is it's coming up in reverse. I feel like this person has made some sort of decision um, in this connection, or you have made a decision, it's going to be different for different people, that has been very painful. If somebody's pulled away or gotten quiet, or there's been some sort of miscommunication or something, whatever the decision they made, they, they don't feel good about it. They're second guessing themselves, they're second guessing what they said, what they did, and wanting to do something different. And with the Seven of Swords in reverse, this person has been holding some feelings and they have been keeping something secret and it's it's hurting them. They don't want to do it anymore. They don't want to, they don't want to hide their feelings anymore. Spirit, why do we have the Seven of Swords in reverse? Why do we have the Seven of Swords in reverse? What is it this person really wants to say? Two of Cups. Oh my goodness. So Aquarius with that Seven of Swords, Cancer Energy with the Two of Cups. They want to tell you that they're that they're falling in love with you or they've fallen in love with you or they're very interested. They want like one-on-one, -on -one, face to face, this person has like a romantic side that I don't know if you know about because I see them just wanting to like touch your face, touch your hand, you know, hold your hand, run their fingers through your hair. Like they want um, a level of, of intimacy with, with you and not just like physical. They want to talk. They want to tell you things. They feel like you're somebody that they really could open up to. And they don't want to hold this in anymore. With the seven of swords in reverse, what this person is keeping a secret that's painful for them, being clarified by the two of cups, is that they they want this with you. And with the Hierophant, they want it for, for a good long time. Um, what they like best about you is the Three of Pentacles. So if you, the two of you have similar interests, um, hobbies, you work together, go to school together, similar, you know, um, groups that you're connected to or something like that, um, they love being around you. I mean, I just saw somebody that just like will casually like sit next to you and act like, you know, oh, that's just the only seat. But no, they wanted that seat next to you. Obviously, that's very specific. A lot of people are long distance and things like that. But that was just something that um, that Spirit wanted you to know. They chose that seat. They didn't end up there randomly. But um, one of the things they really like about you is that the two of you have similar interests, similar ideas, these things that you both like that I feel like talking is very easy. Um, and with the Three of Pentacles, this is like recognition. This is someone like really seeing you and liking you for who you are, um, feeling like you're you're very interesting and and they feel like they could like a connection with the two of you could be more than just like romantic. You could really share things. You could really do something together with that three of pentacles. That is a desire um, to see each other face to face. Capricorn energy. So that is your energy. Capricorn could be significant. But um, the, the pentacles are very tangible. They like to hear your voice. They, they like to see you. Um, and look at your pictures if, you know, they don't have an option of, of really seeing you. So, Spirit, why do we have this Three of Pentacles is what they like best about Capricorn. With it being a card that's specifically your sign, they like you for you. What do they like best? My goodness. We've got the Five of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. Scorpio energy and Taurus energy could be significant here. But I feel like this person has some remorse for not telling you sooner, not going all in, not putting in their part, not putting in the time and the energy. There's hope There's hope here that there is still an opportunity, um, that they, they're really discouraged because I think this person, especially with that five of pentacles, the nine of swords on the bottom of the deck, felt like they weren't enough. For some reason, they didn't have enough to offer via time, energy, money, or if it's just a feeling of insecurity, there was something they felt like wasn't enough. And I feel like they made a mistake and let things, you know, let things go or, you know, um, or something, something fell apart because they didn't put in the time and energy. And it's like, now they want to. 
So what they don't like as much about you is the high priestess um, energy, which is very interesting because more quiet, more secrets. Cancer Virgo Pisces for me as a reader. Um, if you have been quiet or if you have been keeping your secret, your, your feelings to yourself, or if you haven't really been speaking up, I feel like it's making this person nuts. Like they, they like talking to you, they like hearing from you, but I get a sense that they have guilt that they don't, they don't go all in. They don't put in the time. They don't put in the energy with the three of pentacles. They really do want to, but there's some kind of guilt about not, um, not putting in the time and the energy. And they don't like the secrets. They don't like holding in. They don't like missing you if the two of you are apart. What they like best about the connection is the Five of Cups, which is very confusing because now we have the Five of Cups has come up twice. And to like that best about the connection and it not being a particularly positive card, I'm feeling like what they like best is that they're beginning to hope that this Two of Cups is still standing despite what's gone wrong, despite the challenges, despite the difficulties, despite the differences, they're beginning to feel like maybe this Two of Cups is still, is still standing. Maybe there is hope. Maybe there is a chance for this. And that's what they want. That's what they want. They want to know that if they were to come forward, if they were going to open to open up, that that Two of Cups would be would be a possibility. What they don't like as much about the connection is the Four of Pentacles. Oh, and more Scorpio energy there with that Five of Cups, that Four of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Um, they hold on. They hold on to you. I don't even think you know how much. Like when the two of you are apart, when the two of you aren't talking, they, they hold on to you. They think about you. They look at your pictures. They wonder how you're doing. They wonder, you know, if you feel the same about them. But they don't like just holding on to this and not, not doing anything. They want to do something. Their highest hopes for the connection are the Knight of Pentacles. Taurus energy could be significant here, but um, this is this is our knight that is the slowest moving knight in the tarot, but he is the knight that crosses the finish line. This is the one that shows up. This is the one that plans, that steadily moves forward, and that that really shows up. I really get the feeling that they are hoping that there is a chance here. Even if something hasn't gone quite right in the past, even if they're feeling kind of on their own right now, they're feeling, they're hoping that this can still come together, that there really is something that can happen that can work out. Their deepest fears are that Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Sagittarius energy could be significant, but they don't want to lose this chance. They don't want to lose this opportunity. If the two of you are talking now and, you know, maybe you have, maybe your communication has been a little in and out. Maybe it's been a little up and down. Um, they don't want to lose this opportunity with you. They don't want to feel distant from you. They don't want to be overthinking. They don't want to be up in their mind. They don't want to be missing you. They don't want to lose this chance. They want this to happen. So what is likely to happen? Whoa, interesting. We have the devil card. Okay, this is the major arcana for Capricorn. So I'm not seeing this so much as a negative thing, but I do have to say um, this person might be getting letting their fears get the best of them. Um, they might be obsessing over you. They might be, they might be really stressing about things and, um, definitely thinking about you way more than you realize. Spirit, why do we have the devil card here? Why do we have the devil card and what is likely to happen? Wow. Page of Wands. Um, interesting. So 
if this devil card was surrounded by some really negative energies, I might say that this person is not handling this right. Maybe they're handling it in a way that is like, you know, unhealthy or toxic, but this devil card is sitting right in between the Knight of Pentacles and the clarified by the Page of Wands. Those are some really positive energies. I'm getting some very strong Capricorn energies that this person could be very fixated on you, um, but I feel like what's really happening is they have been taking their time, possibly dragging their feet a little bit. Um, they're longing for you, missing you, thinking about you, and they want to communicate with this page of wands, but they've got a lot of fear around it. But I have to say with the, with the devil energy and the page of wands, this person could send you a message that's, um, it's kind of flirty. <laughs> so, so to say there's a, there's a lot of attraction, a lot of interest, a lot of passion, but they definitely want to speak up. They definitely want to want to to tell you all these things they're they're holding in, and I feel like there there are fears around that, but I feel like the fact that they're holding in these feelings is causing them more more pain than than anything else. Like they want to tell you. So what are they likely to do? Oh wow. Eight of Wands. They're definitely going to. They're definitely going to do something. The Eight of Wands is taking action. The Page of Wands is taking action. Oh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius for that Page of Wands. Eight of Wands. We have more Sagittarius energy. This person is going to take some sort of action. I do feel like. Um, it's almost like with that devil energy and the page of wands and the eight of wands sitting right next to the knight of pentacles that somebody who may have been really taking their time um, could really take you by surprise and um, and come on kind of strong. Like this, this is an energy of somebody who could come on kind of strong. And I feel like it could really surprise you, especially if they've been kind of, kind of back and forth. Spirit... Why do we have the Eight of Wands? I mean, it's pretty obvious, the Eight of Wands and what they're likely to do, to take action, to move things forward, to tell you what they've been holding back. But Spirit, what is this person really wanting to communicate? Wow. Oh my goodness. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and take these. I can't even, I can't even believe these cards. So the one that came out was the Emperor. And I looked at the bottom of the deck and saw the sun. And behind the sun was the seven of wands. And behind the seven of wands was the king of cups. And behind the king of cups was the empress. Oh my goodness, Capricorn. I am telling you, you get some powerful readings. And I love it. I have a ton of Capricorn energy. Capricorn, moon, and Mars. So um, it's very significant readings for me as well. But I asked what this person wants to say to you, and I got the Emperor. Aries energy could be significant. Um, but this person has gained some confidence. They are feeling like you're the one. And it's like there there just can't be anybody else. They have to do something. They have to say something. Um we have the sun card was on the bottom of the deck. You make this person very happy. I feel like they're going to tell you that um, that you make them very happy. They're going to send you some sort of communication that makes you very happy because this person who has been guarded, who could even have been defensive, who could have felt like they didn't have like enough to offer a oh, Leo energy there, um, with the sun, Leo with the seven of wands. We have our king of cups, Pisces energy, and um, Scorpio and Cancer, of course, can be significant. And then the Empress, Taurus, and Libra. But what this message is, and what this person has been holding back and is going to communicate, is that they do want to take a stand for this. They know it's time to let down their guard. They have fallen for you with the King of Cups. Their feelings for you run very deep. They've thought it through and 
you are the one. Like you are their their empress. We've got an emperor and an empress and a son. I mean, no wonder. No wonder it's been killing them to hold this in and keep this a secret. No wonder they're missing you like crazy if there's some kind of distance. With the Emperor and the Empress in a love reading, it is the energy of two people that that are meant to meet, that are meant to be together, two people that get each other. And the sun is good news, it's happiness, it's beautiful potential. And with the King of Cups, this is someone genuinely opening up their heart. They're ready to let their guard down. They're ready to take a stand for this as never before. I mean, I'm looking at a little like bonus reading for January going into February and I get this powerful soul connection reading. Like it's beautiful. So what is your advice? Four of Cups. Wow, Capricorn, if you've been feeling discouraged, if you have been feeling like, um, like you know intuitively, you know in your heart, you know what you feel for this person, but for some reason, you know, they, they haven't been speaking up, they haven't been communicating. Spirit is saying, don't be discouraged. Don't guard your heart. There is an ace of cups coming from the sky out of the blue that's going to take you by surprise. It means you opening up your heart. It means you releasing the past. It means you being aware that you are worthy of love and you deserve love and that the universe always has a better plan for you than you can even imagine and that there is love coming towards you and it's the kind of love you've always known that's meant to be yours opening up your heart telling the universe you're ready for this love brings in something truly amazing enchanting passionate exciting and definitely worthwhile spirit what is this ace of cups coming from the sky what is this Ace of Cups is coming from the sky towards Capricorn? Wow. Capricorn, we have the Judgment card and the Ten of Cups. Pisces energy, of course, with that Four of Cups, we have Cancer energy. Um, the Judgment card, this is a time of putting the past in the past. This is like the universe blowing the trumpet and saying, this is the moment. It's time to make a decision. I mean, the universe is like giving your person a nudge and saying, it's time to, it's time to speak up. Capricorn is your happiness. Capricorn is, is the one. The Ten of Cups is emotional fulfillment. It's the kind of person you can be with. But in order to have this kind of happiness, it's like you need to recognize, Capricorn, how worthy you are of love, how deserving you are of love. Open up your heart. Believe that the universe wants to surprise and amaze you. Put the past in the past. The judgment card means the past is in the past and be ready for a new beginning, a fresh start with someone that can make you happy always. So beautiful message. Uh, is what I have for you. Definitely take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If something speaks to you and feels like it's yours, claim it. It's yours. If you like the reading, I love you. Put a like on it. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would love if you would. And I love hearing from you all, hearing your comments, connecting with you. Beautiful energies with the emperor and the empress and the sun. Definitely someone that is is right for you coming towards you it's gonna make you very happy a lot of feelings that this person um, cannot hold in so if this felt like you're reading and you'd like to um, get a personal message my website is charitygenice.com i have tons of options i do um, general love 
career, soul path. I can see past lives. I can get you a message from your divine counterpart if you resonate with soulmate twin flame connection readings. But just general love are really fun. Definitely um, want to let you all know, those who are interested in ordering a personal uh, personal readings or those of you that go onto my website, you see that the urgent readings, the 24-hour readings go up and down. They're up right now, but I can only take so many 24-hour readings at once. And um, so they are up right now, but when they go down, it doesn't mean that I'm not doing them anymore. It just means I have all the emergency readings I can do in one day and I will put it back up in a few days. So I just feel like I need to tell you that. And if you just get the general love, you can let me know if you want a you and them reading if you want the kind of reading like this where you find out what your, your person is thinking feeling about you their intentions what's likely to happen you can get that um or just a celtic cross to see what's coming up in your life what's going to happen this year and then i do have lots of um soulmate divine connection readings available and if you've ever been curious about a past life um that's something i've been able to see people's past lives my whole life and it's exciting now that i've learned to to manage it it can be a little overwhelming when you meet people and you suddenly start remembering all your past lives with them. but thankfully i've learned to manage all that now it's really neat because i can um i can i can help people see their past lives in connections or individually so i don't usually talk about my personal readings a lot um but I've been getting a lot of orders and so I just kind of want you guys to know like what to expect and what is there. And I know um, some of you send me messages and ask me when I take down the 24 hour, the urgent reading, like, where is it? You know, um, it goes up and down because I'm just one person. I can only do so many urgent readings in a day. And for me, the whole reason I started my channel was to prioritize my life, to spend time with my kids, you know, my person and to paint and do all kinds of things. So I only take a certain amount of readings every week and, um, and that way I can do more channel readings. So just wanted to let you all know that. So I want to thank you all so much. Every single one of you, every one of you that's watched these readings, commented, connected with me. You have made it possible for me to bring you these messages and have this channel. Love you all so much. I'll talk to you soon.